Good morning. A very happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Thank you for everything you do. Our Father's Day today is just kind of a normal day. Uh, other than we're going to go out and eat some breakfast. And we're going to just do some of Jason's favorite things today. Happy Father's Day. Mexico. A Mexican Father's Day breakfast is what we're up to. Right, guys? Right. Pulling out our quad. And off we go. just so fresh. So I have a beautiful omelette with fresh beans, fresh salsa, fresh vegetables. It's just awesome. Oh, the dogs are so sweet. Is this your favorite, babe? One of them. <laughs> He's not hungry. Nah, look here. Not interested. Piece of bread. Piece of bread. Piece of bread. Oh, oh my gosh. You. You'll probably lift Blair's face. Let me see your face. Let me see your arm. Did you have a good breakfast? Bye bye. Adios, Pedro. Alright. Time to quickly go home. What time is it, babe? Soccer time. Soccer time. Mexico. Wait, did Mexico almost score? It's the best Father's Day ever. World Cup breakfast in Mexico. Show us this cool, I don't know, a cool find we just uh, 
realized oh, the yeah. other day. Yeah, yeah. What happened was Leela started chewing on this thing, and we didn't know what it was. What was it? It was, see, she, and we found it out. She started chewing on a big piece of iguana skin. Whoa. And I have, like, a plastic baggie of all of, like, my, my iguana skin and stuff. Yeah. And then... Because they're starting to come out now, hey? Yeah, and then also yesterday, my dad found this head of the rhinoceros beetle. Oh, my gosh. Just turn it to the side a little bit. A head of a rhinoceros beetle. Yeah, it looks... Uh, hey, let's go show everybody else the other bugs we found on the trees. You want to go show them? Oh, yeah. So we thought these were bugs that were dead crawling the tree, up yeah. the trees. But if you take a closer look, it's just their dead skin. They crawled out of their back. So it looks like their little feet get stuck and then they're able to actually pull away from their shells. Yeah, watch. I can, I totally know these are exoskeletons, watch. Exoskeletons. Oh, because it's just their dead skin. Yeah. Kind of creepy, huh? Mm-hmm. This one's down here. Gosh. Doesn't. We learn so many things in Mexico. Yeah, and we think those are um, the the um, bugs that light up at night. Oh yes, because at nighttime, which is so hard to see, there are these glow bugs that fly from tree to tree, and it's beautiful. When the night is really dark, uh, they glow. So it's like 50 of them the other night. So I am in love with these bogan villas. These flowers are so bright, so beautiful, and I just couldn't help yesterday when I was out doing my exercise and uh, noticed that this one here in particular is white with a little bit of pink. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I had to just share them with you. So beautiful, huh, Lila? Larry, what do you see? What is that? Are those crazy ants? These guys are so cool. We love finding them. They are hilarious to watch. The boys are playing their soccer. I'm out here taking off my shoes. As you guys all know, Jason and I love to educate people. One of the things that we're big, big advocates of is actually earthing or grounding yourself. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the grounding effect on YouTube. lack in sleep, uh, in inflammation, just 30 minutes a day. They actually say that we are electron deficient. And that's why prior to 50 years ago, when we actually wore like shoes or that were actually like animal hides, 
leather, such like that, we were actually able to be more balanced and healthy and such. But now that we have plastic and such on our shoes, we are dividing ourselves from the earth. So a lot of health factors and such kicked in. And so if you can get outside and walk around barefoot, which is the way we're supposed to be, uh, you'll start seeing some amazing benefits. And here I am. Should we count? Should we count how many seconds it takes to get to the beach? Okay. One of the reasons why I love this place. as the days carry on. What is that? It's a blue buckle. What's it's a blue buckle? It's a blue buckle? See this string? Yeah. That will, that will really hurt you. They're usually longer. Wait, what is it? Is it a type of jellyfish? Yes. This is called a, yeah, it's called one, so a Portuguese man of war. They only float in the water. Oh. So you cover it with sand? Seems to think he saw one. I'm not really sure. It is a little bit mysterious. <laughs> 